Shibuya is filthy yeah. right now. Look at all of that, look at all of that. My mask is slipping down, so maybe let's get rolling. Yep. But um, anything you want to say? Because obviously it's been uh, a while. No, it has been. Um, we've had a little break due to just COVID, just getting in the way of a lot of stuff. Um, but the new season's about to start and we're ready, we're ready. Um, we're about to go, hopefully we can see a bunch of old retro uh, Japan shirts. I'm excited. Let's head to the store. Yep. And um, maybe you can show us a shirt on the way. Yeah, let's do it. Right. So, of course, they do trade-ins. They do, you know, they buy shirts. And um, a shirt I've been sitting on for a little while is uh, this beaut. I do like it. Just um, it's a nice shirt, yeah. It's, let me see if I can get it in shot here. Look at this. This is an um, Yokohama F Marinos. Was that 1994? Sure. I th I, around there, yeah. Early 90s, you know. Now, you might wonder, like, why are you trading this in? And um, the answer is, is because, you know, you I like live in Japan and you I like, like my ramen. ramen. <laughs> you like your it's, a, it's a medium, isn't it? And it's, a, it's an M. And the Japanese M is a bit smaller than a uh, UK or US M. A Japanese M is between a, a Western S and A. M. It's not quite an S. It's, it's not, S and M, bro. Yeah, it's not quite an S. It's not quite. He knows an S, S and M very well. Yeah. So he's it's the in the middle there. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So the go-to football store in Shibuya. We've, we've come a little bit away from the station, and as you can see, like it's a little bit um, more of a suburban area of Tokyo. But this is the number one football shirt store in Tokyo. And honestly, like they're good guys. They've looked after me over the past four or five years. I bought a lot of stuff here. Um, Known relatively well, I think, but they're very good with the J League stuff. Yeah. Like the 90s onwards. And what we're going to try and do today is look for some nice early 90s J League shirts. I've got most of the J League collection down already from that first couple of seasons, but it's always good to have a little look. Yes. So we're going to go in there, we're going to have a chat. You've got a shirt to sell. Yeah. Let's go in there, see what they've got to say. Mint condition. 95, 96. Decent, decent. Rooney, 2003, 2004. Let's see the back of it. That's when he was like, what? He was literally probably about 18 Rooney. years old. Rooney, Pete Rooney. That's what brought him into the into the game. 13,000. Beautiful. Whole section for our red. That's crazy. Yeah. I love the badge. Like, you've got to love those badges. Yeah, old school. I rate it. What's caught your eye, mate? Yeah, so um, this FC Tokyo shirt here. Um, it is lush. It's from the 2001-2002 season. So, okay, good points. The reason why I like this shirt, the AMPM sponsor is an old convenience store that doesn't exist anymore yeah. in Japan. Um, if you know your convenience stores in Japan, um, you've got Family Mart, in which I reckon the socks are. Yes, boy, the Family Socks. Family Mart socks, right? My here, guy, right? my guy. They also sell the AMPM socks, which are like orange, yeah. red, and purple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That reason alone, I want this sponsor <laughs> on this shirt. Um, also, again, same reason for you, like I like the retro shirt. The only thing is, this price is actually decent. It's Everything fantastic is great. price, no problem. Yeah. I love a good collar on a shirt as well. The only down point is Love on the, the back. Proper daily pack. Is, then, it's I mean, just it's signed. signed. Which, you know what, for it's a fan. By the team. It is signed by the team. It is. Which is good, but I mean, I, I'm I just, want to wear it more. Right? I want to wear it regularly. I want to wear it maybe potentially outside of games. And let's it's give a it, nice kit. Let's give it 30 minutes of, tell of you what, thought. If you don't buy that one, I will. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, mate. No pressure. These shirts look much better in person than they do online. Cause I'm looking at that and I'm like... That's a nice shirt, yeah. Not, not it's got, shirt, it's right? got um, France 98 away vibes. <laughs> yeah, it does. Same for this one, look. And this is kind of like, uh, recent, I think. 2017. Nice shirt. I just think Umbro's a bit minging, do you know what I mean? <laughs> How's that? That's, I haven't seen it. Is this a third kit? That's a keeper shirt. Oh, Gonda. A keeper one? Number one, isn't it? Gonda. Oh, of course, yeah. I don't like short sleeve keeper shirts, so, yeah. unless you're booth on. Yeah. That's what I fancy. It's got 
Tetco patch. Yep. For all you people who live in, in Tokyo. If you pay your bills, if you pay your bills, raise your hands up. Raise your hands up. Yeah, that's that's cool. Official one, it's not the plastic one. This is what, 2005? Okay. Okay. The only question is, do I go for this one or do I go for a slightly later one? I think this was the following season. You can see they still got the patch, which is nice. Yeah. What do you reckon? Go um. On. What you got there? All right, so I really want this. We've got this Shonan Bermane game coming up next weekend. Mm -hmm. It's the perfect shirt to wear. So I'd like my early, early J League stuff as much as possible. I've got loads of early J League shirts. So I don't have a Shonan Bermane shirt. We're this looking is from at 94, 94 to 96. Yeah. Two years it was used. It's the perfect size. It's mint condition, basically. Doesn't get better than that. I'm just not sure about the price. Like, yeah. I think you got it earlier than me. I've got, I've got. I had a little chat with him, I've got a discount coming up because I've bought a lot of stuff here in the past. So I've got about $40 of discounts, but mm. I'm trying to decide if this is worth it. Am I ever going to wear this again? I love them as no sponsor. I love the J-League patch. It's really good condition. It's got the nice sewn on badge as well, which you don't get so much anymore. It's a very nice shirt. It is indeed. But I'm not sure if it's worth it. So let's go and have a beer. <laughs> Sit down and have a chat. Let's have a think and see how we're feeling in about half an hour. Let's do it. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. But my friend, we also have this. That's this cool, that's cool. 100 bucks. You can see a little bit of um, wear. Okay. Yeah. But the only problem is, I know we've got a game coming up. But if you're going to if you're going to go and watch Sean and Belmarin, mm. you want to be wearing green. That's yes. my only issue with it. You yeah, I get you. Green. For sure. You know what I mean? You want to be wearing green. So I have to have a real think about this. Look, see the mascot there? Legend. It's a good price, it's a very Aquaman. nice shirt. Very nice shirt. I really like the detail on the badge and the sponsor. Aquaman's dad, I think. <laughs> Anyways, so um, we just got out of the, the store. Um, the shirt I showed you guys, the F Marino's, Yokohama F Marino shirt that I was mm. looking to potentially sell, potentially trade. Nice um, I was not too happy with the price they offered, so I kept it. Um, happen sometimes it's a good shirt i mean yeah um it's the kind of shirt that you want to keep unless you kind of get a great offer for it right and yeah like, their offer was probably fair but at the same time like you only want to sell if it's kind of an outstanding offer so fair, no definitely fair play to you, mate. Fair yes play to you. so um yeah no holding on to that shirt in terms of shirts we saw um you'll probably see it before this but i was interested in a uh fc tokyo 94 Four to six? No, sorry, no. 2000, 2001. 2000, 2001. Uh, it's got the AM sponsor that I like. Uh, great shirt. The only down point, it has the sign sign stuff on the back. And, um, it's got, well, I mean, you can look at it as an asset. It's got a whole team's signature on there. Like, everyone in the team from that season has, has signed it. Yeah. But, like, as a collector, do you really want that? But, mm. I mean, you're only going to really wear it to games because we've got a lot of FC Tokyo games coming up that we're going to go and see. It's true, it's true. You look, I mean, even though you would have bought it second hand, but it, you'll mm. look like a legit fan that's been there <laughs> yeah. since like the, the early days. It's true, it's true. And that's what I want to be. So, you so know. I mean, for the price as well, I mean, it's to be honest, it's done you a favor because it's brought the price down. It's, um, it's a yeah. very nice shirt to have. And if I were you, I'd go for it. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm seriously considering it. I think, to be honest, what we should probably do is a video um, in the next couple of weeks, maybe next month or so, yeah. about some of the kits that we own already mm. because I've got a rascal collection. I know you've got some beauties as well. So um, maybe, yeah, we'll get down that alley. But Yeah, definitely. For now, um, I think I'm going to go back in and buy something. How about you? We'll see how it goes. Fancy it. Go on, yeah. Go on. Let's go. Let's go see. On, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a decent price. Looks good. Keep a shirt. Can't wait to wear it. I'm going to wear this for the next FC Tokyo game we go to. Love it. Respect. Let's see go. Daily journeys. Daily journeys. Daily journeys.